Greetings, and welcome back to Dungeon Defenders Awakened. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have charged up all of our heroes, uh, basically giving them all of the new gear and uh, setting up their skill points. I've decided what I want to do in the following levels is try to use different heroes so that you can see a lot of their different skills instead of just focusing on the squire often. So we're going to start this one with the summoner. Let's go and play the campaign. We are on the throne room. Oh, I love this one. This is so great. This one, I believe, has three crystals, or it did in the previous version. Oh, this is such a cool level. Mm -hmm. mm, no, not three. I thought there used to be one by the thrones. There might have been in the other version. I thought there used to be one, like, right here. Okay, no worries. No worries. We're going to press G. We have doors everywhere, God, but it's okay. We can fix this. So one of the most versatile champions is the summoner. Um, this one would actually work really well with, um, with squire, but we're not going to use a squire right now. We're going to see what we have. So most of this champions, uh, minions are kind of like breaking the physical, oh, actually, mage is good. That's right, healing. All right, so ogres kind of are like the walls. They stop uh, enemies from going places. There used to be a smaller one as well, like orcs or something. But we have spiders. The siren is the new one that I'm not that familiar with. But um, I think we should have a couple of sirens. That seems useful. Um, so we're going to place one of these. Okay, they can't be placed that close, apparently. I'm going to place her in the middle so that she can uh, cast the spell around these things. Now, one interesting thing to note with the uh, summoner's minions, all of the archers. Archers are the primary damage dealers here that we're going to use. Um, they don't have to face any direction. They can be anywhere. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put in these many archers. Uh, they can turn around. They're like people, you know, they can turn around and such. So the other, um, I'm going to get out the EV. One of the things that I kind of forgot about the EV is the reflect shield. And if we put a reflect shield, which is number two, I kind of wish I had the uh, uh, vertical thingy now. Um, these will protect, I believe, against kobolds. Right? If the kobold, of course, if the kobold doesn't cross the shield, that's kind of important as well. Um, but here we should be able to have a nice reflect shield. Um, I don't know if we need one up here. We might for this crystal. Let's put one up here. Yeah, a one length shield. That's perfect. Yeah, in case there are archers standing up here and they want to shoot the crystals, they cannot right now. So this seems like a pretty good situation right now, I think. Let's go and change back to the summoner. And can we put in another one of these guys? Yeah, there's 60. So I think maybe we should have one here-ish. So he can shoot anybody like any of the archers that come up here and that kind of thing. Um, I could, what I could do, actually, let's go to do something a little bit different with this reflect shield. Um, let's see. Also in the build phase, you can refund things for free. Let's see if we can get this one going here like this. That's better. That'll protect our archer now. And I'll, I'll move that archer slightly. I'll move the archer here. All right, and we're good. Now we're going to change to the apprentice for defense. But I think we're doing pretty well. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yep. E oh, this needs to be defended as well. Ah, crap. Okay. It's okay, though. It doesn't look like we have any archers. Let's get on top of this gal here. Oops. This is like... I feel like the... Oh, there's a kobold up there. There's a kobold. Oh, why does it keep moving me around? The camera just like changes. It just like shifts. That's very annoying. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because she's turning around or something. 
Okay, this is good. This is a good defense here. I like this. Except we do need more reflect shields. Um, that's needed. Oh, wait, did I adjust the... What is it? Hard. Okay, good. We are on hard. Um, I didn't want it to be too, uh, too not hard. <laughs> okay, let's do, go back to the EV because I want to set up a reflect here. Just do something like, can we get a one in here? Yeah, we can. We surely can. Oh yeah. Just want to use the least defense units I can here. Oh, this is not. Okay, fine. We'll put it on top. Just wanted a little bit of extra length there, but it's, it doesn't matter. It's really fine. Okay, because we, we might have archers coming from here and we don't want them to shoot this crystal. Okay, so let's go back to our summoner. And summoner can... Uh, let's get... Maybe we get a an archer here and one over here to deal with these guys that are coming in. Um, but also, let's just keep adding archers. We used to get these guys like in really tight lines. Like, let's see, we can we can move him here so that they were like a wall. That's one, two. That's five over there. They used to walk better. Now they're just sort of like limp. I don't know what this is. This is weird. I don't like the animations. Like there's no animation here. It looks terrible. Uh, okay, so we're good. Uh, let's go back to Apprentice. I really like using the F keys to switch them around. It's easier than using the hero deck. Oh, I forgot to pick up the box of stuff. Whoops. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's going on here. Actually, let's get on the crystal. We'll be safe because we have those uh, nice shields. But yeah, archer's doing work now. Let's watch how they deal with that orc. They're doing damage. A lot of damage. Okay, and I don't think they're going to attack. Oh, we have a lot of kobolds going on over there. I wonder if that... Oh, that archer seems fine. Again, I think it's the shield protecting them. Oh, and this, that goblin didn't attack the archer. That's interesting. Okay, that's fair. Nice, nice. Good, good. This is also a really good candidate for having... Um, actually, we have 62 defense units. We might as well uh, get the... Um, whatchamacallit? Get get the, the thingies out. I've also gone to only collecting like blue and, and purple stuff now uh, or using blue and purple because they, they also have these bonuses. They have a multiple levels of stuff. It's pretty good. Let's help this along a bit. Core under attack. That's not good. Where? How? I don't know what happened there. I think we need another archer up there. All right, let's go and grab the mana. Okay. But yeah, this is the perfect area to have some nice, beautiful... Uh, actually, what we can do is move those shields a bit if we put in uh, different defenses here. I think we should we should do that. We should do that. Let's let's get our our EV and remove these. Now we probably should have thought of this earlier, but that's okay. It doesn't matter that much. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. No, whoops. Okay. All right. What we're gonna do is put the reflect shield here. And then put in put in stuff behind it. So if we go summoner, um, also you can't press shift, which is annoying. 
you used to be able to press shift and uh, and move faster on the screen here but for whatever reason you can't do that now all right let's go with our squire and I want to put in some very tasty harpoons like right behind the reflect I think Maybe I'll move the uh, this guy up as well. And then down here, here is a prime area for putting harpoons in. This is a really good area, actually. Again, I feel like the distance, like right here, like if I'm trying to put this here, it's way too close. Uh, I don't like that. I think it should be much further, the distance you're actually putting the towers compared to where you're standing. I find it really difficult. I wish I had the, uh, I can't, no, I can't do the summoner's viewpoint on these. Darn it. I want that. I guess I could do this and then rotate it. That's okay too. Um, all right. So this guy got a little bit damaged, but not lots damaged. We can put a harpoon up here. Um, that will help. Or we can put a bunch more archers there. That's another solution. Um, this is looking pretty darn good. I think this is this is nice. Uh, do we want anything else here? Let's see. I'll go ahead and um, upgrade this guy. Uh, not that. This upgradey. Upgradey, upgradey. All right, and then go back to apprentice for the the phase, the combat phase. Okay, so now we've moved these situations up. I should have moved the archer up as well. Uh, that would have been better. Uh, this thing looks a little bit close. Ooh, this one's taking out a lot of those as well. That's quite nice. I didn't anticipate that. That's excellent. Yeah, but the, those archers really need to be moved up because their range is not so uh, long because our equipment isn't, you know, end game yet. So they don't have a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of range yet. But what I can do is, and what I'm going to do right now, is upgrade the thingy. Uh, here we go. Upgrade. And upgrade. So it does more damage, so less chance of the enemies uh, coming and hitting the thing. Hello? Why can I not upgrade it? I had 100. There we go. Now it's at two, 200 for the next upgrade. I remember when I was a young dungeon defender, man, this level gave me such stress, but I also then, I, I re got really good at this level because I would farm it for XP. It was a good one when you, when it was, I, I remember, I think it was before I got into nightmare mode, like nightmare mode was a huge step up in the regular DD. And I hope it is in this one too. Like it should be really hard. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of grinding that had to go on before you could really graduate there to that. Okay. What else have we got here? Um, let's see. We have, we're wave four. Let's get our summoner out again and uh, fix these minions because they are not in the right place. This guy needs to go like right here. I'm going to put him behind the shield, but he needs to be closer so he, because they're not actually hitting the enemies right now, these archers. So they really need to be, actually, you know what? Let's put a spider here. That seems like a good idea because the spider will trap stuff before it hits the, uh, the uh the towers that's a great great thought okay also let's put in another archer here and one on the other side too i'll put him there and then move him i think go here no okay it's a little bit too close apparently i should have made the ev beams a little bit longer like from here to there like diagonal maybe Hmm. I don't think it's worth moving them. I don't really care enough to move them, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, let's put another one of these guys. These guys are doing really well. Let's see. Can I see the information on them? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. 
Um, anything else we want to do here? I don't think so. I think we're pretty good. Um, so those beams are there. Maybe we just add more of these guys here because these guys also cover the regular floor. So they're, it's perfectly good to have many archers here. It's, it's a good thing. Uh, we have 11 units left. We can add another one here. Can I move him closer? Yeah, of course I can. Well, ish. Stop moving. If they're in a state of running, they do weird things. So try not to do that. Let's just add this guy here. Seven left. These cost two only. They're very cheap. Super, super cheap. Like, they're way too cheap, I think. Okay, and then one more. And that's it. We have one left. One defense unit left. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go into... There we go. Oh, oh, I forgot to pick up the rest of the mana. I forgot to go around and look for loot. Oh my god, I'm such a bad player. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Night! Okay. I set off the kobold right in my face. Dang it! Whoops. Whoops. Slight whoops there. Slight whoops. Slight whoops. Ah, but look how far they're dying now from the shield. That's good. That's really nice. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, no. Ah, ninjas. God, I hate those guys. I hate ninjas so much. They're so horrible. Oh, we got a big guy. Okay, now this might be... This might be a reason. What are, what are we in, We're in wave four. Okay, I think what we want to do here in wave four is we're going to go and grab... Oh, 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 that's another reason um, for certain traps, like having wyverns. They fly, and certain traps do not hit flying enemies. So you've got to be careful about that. Just FYI. All right, there's a purple item here. Another book. We keep getting purple books, and I don't like the books because they're often less useful. I don't really like them. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. All right, almost done. What is this one enemy? Hello? Let's see where it is. It's probably stuck somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's the ninja. It was stuck at the gate. So we had to, like, aggro it over. Okay. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's like, that doesn't sound good! Alright, let us get some... I think we want some traps. I think we're going to sell some minions and buy traps. Okay, so let's get our Huntress out. And we're going to sell a couple of folks here. Oh, look at this. Nice. Hello? Nothing else? Really? Dude? Okay, fine. Let's sell you. And you. Those seem to be a bit extraneous. And I'm going to put in the Death Trap over here. Let's put it right here where the minions are. Well, actually, a little bit earlier than the minions. Thunder spike trap. We need three more units. Okay, so we need to sell one more. Uh, dude, that guy's over the line, man. That's not good. Let's go get him fixed. Okay, go back. Get behind the thing so you're safe, dude. Okay, let's sell this guy. And then we'll go back to Huntress and put in another uh, Thunder Spike Trap. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's actually fine. All right, cool. Uh, now I want to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Summoner and just upgrade things because it's easier from this view, I think. What else? I think I want to upgrade these guys. And the archers. 
And this thing. Wait, these are doing 2800, 2200, okay. That's nice. Okay, cool. Let's go back to this guy. Alright, this is wave 5. Scary times now. Okay, so this thing is doing what now? 75k lightning damage. So if we have a boss, what we're going to do is try to aggro him around those traps. Just want to pre-kill any of those kobolds who are thinking about even coming and damaging us. So we do not agree with this. There's an ogre. Okay, the ogre. Okay, let's watch the ogre. Oopsies. Let's kill this ninja guy. Let's watch the ogre. Oh, he's coming in. There we go. Dude. Boom. Lightning spike trap. Did him in. Completely deaded. All right. Another ogre coming in here. See, most of the other enemies are not actually hitting that lightning spike trap. So, uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Maelstrom Darklight. Wow. We are really pre-killing them a lot. They are having a hard time even getting to the spike trap. That's amazing. That's really good. So, you know, upgrading those choice towers. Well, basically, we did upgrade all of the... Um, we did all of the archers. Almost all. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Kobold's getting through the shield a little bit. But mostly not. Mostly not. When they are getting through, then we have issues. But it's it's been pretty fine. Yeah, get those ninjas and then lead them backward toward your towers. And the towers will eat them alive. Well, eat them dead. Eat them until they're dead. <laughs> They'll eat them until they're dead! It's fine! Words are hard today. But we shall prevail. Do not worry. I am used to words. They are my friends in general. Okay, staff. Yeah, I do wish the spikes were tiny bit more visible. But it's... Oh, jeez. Wow. I think, And I think it's because... So we're dying because... All of our points are in towers and not in hero stats. That's why it's so easy for me to die. Because I don't value those stats at all. Uh, I, I absolutely don't value those stats. Um, because the towers are the most important thing in this game. Just, you know, bar none. The towers are the most important thing in the game. Uh, they will kill stuff. What you need with your weapon is you can kite stuff, and that's about it. But otherwise, stuff is gonna die by the tower. Oh, really, dude? Okay, fine. Boss is coming, oh boy, okay. I don't remember what the boss is in this one. Is it a wyvern? I don't remember, actually. Prepare for boss, yeah, I'm trying. Oh, wow, that's not what I wanted. Um. Let's just upgrade some, some people here. Upgrade the towers. I don't remember what direction he comes from. It's been years and years since I played this level. Okay. Hello. Greetings. Aha. Oh, this is the goblin mech. Of course. Of course. I completely forgot. And of course, I don't have the correct hero right now. But I could sell towers, potentially. Which way is he coming from? Oh wait, we have stuff on both sides. So we're not going to remove any towers. Oh wow, he has a millions of HP? That's not ideal. Oh my god, how did I get hit from here? What the heck? I'm protected by shields, or should be. Holy. Alright, and I'm going to try to... Okay. Okay. Now this is a, a spot where we're really happy we have archers, right? We're going to try to kite them backward a little bit. Okay, we don't have a lot of HP there. Okay, 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 okay. 
But the idea here is that we want to get them to, to think and pause and, and go backward slightly and not destroy our crystals. That's really useful to not destroy the crystals. Oh, okay. So now we actually want him to come forward a bit so he gets hit by the lightning spike trap. Um, but that's okay. We're just going to try to hit him a bit. Let's try to hit him this way and see if he comes. Oh, God. Oh, something is dying over there. Crap. What's dying? Stop dying. No, 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 no. Dude, come back here. Come back, kite, kite, kite. Hello. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's the rockets. He's got a lot of rockets in the in the backpack. So um, that's probably what's giving us the issues. Let's repair the spike trap here, the lightning spike trap. Oh, no, crap, dude. He's The, the missiles are hitting me, and that's not great. Um, I'm going to put down a tower if I can. Let's see, five. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. Dude, 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 dude. Repair. Repair. No, okay, okay, dude. Come back this way. Back, 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 back. Come this way, dude. Oh, he's going straight forward. Okay, that's not great. He is actually killing all of my... Okay, we're going to build this thing. We need to build more defenses right now. Okay, it's fine. He might die. Come this way. Come this way. Victory. Wow. Oh, that was close. Dang. It does. It renews our crystals. So we didn't see how low they got. I'm a bit like scared, but he did kill all of our, um, what I should have done maybe is put up some walls here. That would have been good. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a pretty epic victory. That was, that was great. Okay. Let's go look around for loot just real quick. See if there's anything worth picking up. There's a purple. Okay. Actually, I should pick up these things because those are uh, token things that we can use to upgrade our other thingies, our uh, stuffs. Okay. Um, that sounded very specific. I'm sorry. Um, there are things here that I don't know exactly how they work. If we look here, we look at the runes. And you can choose different things here. Like, okay, explosive striker. Deadly striker projectiles now also explode on hit, dealing 25% dam tower damage to nearby enemies with a cooldown of seven seconds. That sounds amazing. Okay, and then we have pulsator. When the lightning tower fires off, it also deals 100% of tower damage to all enemies within range with less damage the further away they are from the tower starting after halfway. That sounds okay. Anything here? Nope, those are not there. All right, cool. We earned 16 points. Holy fuzzy cats. That's a lot. So let's see, can we do, no, we can't do five. You know what? I'm going to wait till another level and then we'll do more. Okay. All right, good. So let's G. Oh, I forgot the box. No. Shoot. The box always has good, good stuff. that they are fighting inner demons unlocked by the old one's attack from within should they fall through these halls the old ones will gain a new unstoppable force the heroes of etheria in order to awake from their control they must attain certain victory over the battles that await them all right we did well 458 thousand xp that's a lot i forgot to get the box they have the best stuff arcane library let's go let's -a go so you see how versatile those minions are this is this is familiar this looks like a um was this from dungeon defenders 2 or eternity wasn't from the original game but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know this map. That's cool. Well, I know it a little bit. I know it a little bit. Where are they? Let's see. Can I, what was it? Was it tab? Okay. So there are only two crystals. That is good. Um, <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Okay. Um, 
Wow. All right. We have, let's see, let's, let's do this one first. Uh, this one has, I think we're going to go squire with this one for now. I really like squire, um, because of these wonderful, wonderful, uh, these guys that, right. come on, these lovely, lovely thingies. So stairs, they can't jump up, right? So they have to go on the stairs. All right. So there's that. Now then this one. Oh God. All right. So we have this angle here. There are stairs there, stairs there and stairs here. So we have many, many places they can come from. Looks like they're not coming from down below. So that could be useful. I think what I can do is something like this to cover those areas, but they're awfully close to that crystal, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is too, yeah, that's not enough angle. I don't know. I'm kind of like maybe putting, maybe putting them here is, is best anyway, because having them that close doesn't really work very well. So we can do this though. And then let's get the EV out for a shield. I'm going to put in, uh, we want to shield the crystal basically. Let's see. Can we do a two? Maybe. Eh, let's just do it with a three. It's fine. Let's cross the shield slightly. So it doesn't get through. We'll do the same on this side. Now notice last time, because we had these shields, we didn't, um, we didn't need the ensnare auras. Let's just do two here. You kind of want to save as many defense units as possible. So let's see, let's just do two and we'll just fit our defenses between that area. Okay. I think this is looking pretty good. Um, what else do we want? I'm wondering if we should just take a, an archer over here just to be safe, like in this area, just so we have something, uh, hello. Uh, okay. Here we go. Just, so we have something here in case somebody tries to come up the stairs. All right. And we're pretty much done. Um, we don't actually have much else that we can do here. All right, let's go. Let's see if the defenses hold. Okay. So let's see what this does here. Okay. That's easily. Yep. Easily defending against those areas easily. Very nice. Always get the box. I, I made a mistake not getting the box after the, the throne room. That that was the epic box as well. I know. Oh, sad times. All right. We got plenty of defense units right now. Um, what do we want to put in here? I think I really like harpoons in general. Let's see. What do we else what do we have with the other heroes? We have the monk who does auras. Of course, uh, we can't, let's try it. Let's do the monk auras. Let's do a slowing aura, like right here ish. We don't want to put it too far out because of the range of this guy. Um, uh, but this is going to help with cobalt protection and other random stuff, other stuff, not random stuff, but other stuff. Okay, we can do one. We need like three here. Ugh. These auras are so tiny. <sighs> it's okay. It's fine. We're just playing the beginning of the game. They'll get bigger. It'll be fine. Okay, so that's the ensnares over there. Um, let's see. Do we want to do, let's see, Huntress. Huntress is actually good with having the traps, but we need a lot of traps. This is a big area for traps and stuff. So I think maybe a, a more, um, you know, we haven't used, we haven't used heat cannon. 
deals periodic damage in a cone, but it's a very small cone, and she doesn't have a lot of range either. Overclock beam. <gasps> oh my god, we do have the buff beam! It's just called differently! Oh. Okay. That's fine. It costs six, no matter how long it is. Okay. Wow. Defense armor, damage, and rate, and range. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, well, that's fine. So what you do with this is, like, you try to use only one if you can. Um, and then try to put the defenses along that beam. Actually, you know what? I don't like that uh, thing. It's too close to the crystal. I can't believe they added the buff beam back. I always felt like it was way too powerful and way too meta. As in, like, you always had to use it. So I guess it's still part of the meta. All right, let's go here. Let's put it at the very edge of the buff beam if we can. All right, and then here. Then we can put more here. But yeah, the buff beam is probably the best um, defense you can possibly get. It's the best. The best. The best. Okay, whoops. Again, these things are just too close. Can I put this there? I think that's on the beam. If the beam touches any part of it, I think it is buffed. Does it say? 13% armor. I think that means we have it on the buff beam. Let's see what the beam says. Beam says 13% armor. Yep. Yep. It's on the beam. Even though it doesn't like look like it's touching it, if it's under any part of it, it will count. All right. And so now, now... Maybe we go summoner again. Uh, let's go above here. It's easier just to place stuff. Actually, what we do here is we get these guys and then we walk them. Go on the buff beam, please. There you go. And I think we can fit one more. Oh, no resources. Darn it. Okay, well, let's go then. But yeah, everything is now buffed. Everything now has armor. Uh, everything is buffed, including the auras. Okay, here we go. So this aura is probably a little bit too far. We want it a little bit closer. Oh, there's the kobold. Dead. Dead kobold. That's kind. This would be pretty good. Wow. All right. Kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. All right, um, now, now we want to, I guess we can, we can do more summons, per perhaps. Uh, we were going to do another guy over here, I think. I don't know if we can fit one, actually. But these guys, uh, whoops. These guys can usually fit, like, between stuff. Dude. Dude. Nope. Well, maybe. I don't know if that counts. Let's just put them over here. I think buff is more important than thingy. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. I might be able to put them here as well. Like, share the beam on this side. That guy's going to have to move over. What? No, dude. I don't like that delay. That is so annoying. All right, let's move that guy right over there. Okay, on the beam. Let's -a go. Looking good. Looking really good. See this range on this guy. His range is actually very low. 
What would have been better maybe is to do two buff beams, one like parallel to the shield and one over here. But I kind of wanted to show how you can share beams. Um, we can also just put an archer like here, dude, please. Seems like the roof is getting in the way weirdly enough. Okay, do we need anything else around here? Hmm. I think it's okay. I think it's kind of okay right where we are. Let's see these guys. They reach a little bit, but yeah, the range is not very far. I need to get this guy's range way, way up. Um, so anything else? Maybe Huntress? We could do like a burning trap. I like the inferno traps in general. Uh, they are very good for um, enemy control, but oh, we were not going to have enough of them. Is there anything good in here? No. Like looking for, okay, no more defense units. That's okay. No worries. We're good. Where's our box? I've forgotten where the box, oh, there's the box. Okay. Let's just pick these up. Okay, anything else? I think we're good on loot. I think we looked at everything. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm no longer picking up greens or whites, just FYI. I'm just picking up the blues and the purples. All right, this is looking fabulous. Yep. We're protected from cobalt explosions. This is pretty great. Oh, yes. And what we can do is upgrade the beam. The beam is the most important thing to upgrade when you have beams. That is the first thing you upgrade. Beam. No, I want to upgrade the beam. Eh. Okay, what if I do this? Can I now get the beam? Hello? No? Dude. It's never been so hard to upgrade the beam. I'm a bit like annoyed about that. That the beam is so annoying to upgrade. Let's try it again. Beam, please. Okay, 400 upgrade now. We're, we've graduated in upgrades. No, I don't want the other harpoon tower. You know what I'm going to have to do, I think. I think I'm going to have to um, change things. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to sell one of the harpoons but the one I haven't upgraded yet because it's going to be expensive because they don't give you a full refund on stuff that's been in the world, right? As you're going through the levels, they only give you a refund if you build something this round of building and you refund it this round of building, then you get a full upgrade. But like this one, um, no, not that will do. Yo. So this is going to give us 10, I think. Yeah, 10. <gasps> no! What did I do? I sold the wrong thing, apparently. Crap. Okay. Anyway, let's upgrade the buff beam. I don't know why they called it different. Okay, so now that's done. So now we can put in a... a another one of these. What did I sell? Oh, I sold the, the EV beam. That's what I sold. Silly me. Okay, the reflect field also really does not need... Oh, no, 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 not three, please. Let's just do two. It's interesting about the EV is that, you know, her items can be of different length so that you can, you can really save on defense units if you want to. I guess I could have put three since we only have one DU left. Um, all right, so let's go back to this one. Are we ready? 
Ooh, buff beam. Ah, we don't have enough to upgrade the buff beam. Darn it. Okay, let's go. We'll upgrade it in a second. But yeah, okay, so that's a lesson for us now that we know how the buff beam is so hard to upgrade. Um, I don't like that. I feel like you should have access to every... I like that I'm collecting mana while dead. That's cool. Um, but I th feel like you should have access to any tower um, you want. There we go. Wow, look at this. Damage boosted by 21%. That's amazing. That's fantastic. And only costs a 60 U to upgrade 20% on all of these things. That's nuts. I love it. I like it. I love it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Do we have any other ogres here? Okay, so we definitely need the infernal traps. This is... Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. At least that dude died. Okay. Um, I'm a bit scared now. I'm a bit scared, like... Hmm. Hmm. I think we need to sell those traps and get infernal spike traps instead. Because that ain't good. I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to pay attention to where the ogres are. Oh, that was unlucky. <laughs> Didn't land behind the shield. Sad times. Okay, let's look and see what we got here. Anything good? No, not good. Well, I still have plenty of enemies here. Just stay where it's safe. Stay where it's safe. get on the crystal because the archers turn around and it can be annoying okay so blue thing there now let's see what we have here ogres no ogres that's really pretty out there i always liked looking at the um the outside areas of the uh the place it's kind of cool Looks like these traps are getting used a tiny, tiny bit, but probably not enough. Let's look and see the doors. Let's actually pay attention to the doors. I always for not forget, but like, okay, there's no ogres coming from this side. That's good. But the other side is in much danger of ogres. So let's see what's going on with that. Well, that might've been an accessory. Cool. All right, what do you got? You got no ogres. Two ogres here. That's bad. Okay, that's fine though. So let's see, this door only goes that way. All right, so that's fine. Okay, if they went the other way, then we'd have to protect both sides, but we're gonna try to get them and kite them to the correct direction. Be, and the correct direction is the one in which the Huntress can kill it with a, a trap. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this. Uh, five, how many do you use is that? It's only, th oh, it's only three. Wow, okay. Nice, nice, nice. We could even put in a couple of them, maybe. Okay, so we can have one here. And maybe one down here, but we need to, to kill another trap. This is the intelligent way of doing these things because uh, otherwise, like, you can just guess. Oh, where is it coming from? I have no idea. No, it's actually coming from this way, and you do have an idea. So stop thinking you have no idea. Okay, let's see. You cannot uh, overlap these things, but we're going to get them here, and we're going to upgrade the heck out of them. Okay. Thunder spike trap. Okay, so now that does 88,000 damage per hit, which is great. You don't look at the DPS on those because usually the ogres are going to be like a, a one time. Well, you can look at their HP and see how much that's worth. Okay, what else do we? I think we also upgrade the uh, these guys. Not that. We don't want to sell. We want to this. Harpoon tower, go. So these are doing 4,700 DPS, which is nuts. All right, let's go. 
We want to make sure that we can be over here and kite those uh, ogres. Really important to do that. These guys should not even reach those spike traps. This is doing really well for us right now. Core under attack. Which one? That one? Where? How? I wonder what happened over here. Looks like something got... No? I don't know. Ogre is over there. Okay, let's see how much HP the ogre has. 300,000. So... Getting these spike traps is going to be great. Come on back. Come on back, little ogres. Let's go. Wow. You can see them getting chunked by these uh, spike traps. Okay. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. This way. This way. Yo. Yo. Come back. Come back. Okay. There we goes. He turns around, gets hit by the other trap, and they're dead. They're both dead now. We have nothing to worry about right now. Except our non-flawless victory. Like, who hit the core, man? That is rough times. All right. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Try not to suffer too much. Okay, so that's half of the enemies only. Oh, thank you, dude. Eh, I'm going to I might have to worry about HP soon. <laughs> might have to get some HP points in or something. I am kind of curious about the new heroes as well. I haven't played with those yet, and um, maybe I should start leveling them. But it's hard to decide which character to take off. It seems like we've not been using a lot of traps from, or towers, from the Apprentice. Maybe I take the Apprentice off? Um, I'm not sure, though. That one is the one. Okay. Cool! So we won. Hooray! Uh... Go get the box. Just FYI, the crystals do not matter at all. Uh, they are not added as gold or anything like that, I don't think. It used to be that mana was gold and you could collect all the crystals and stuff and save them. Um, but it seems to be gold is a different currency now. So that's okay. All right, uh, box, let's go. All righty, nice. Let's go. All right, cool. So let's go to our map summary. 174,000 XP. Not as much as the other one um, because we didn't have a boss, probably. Royal Gardens. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice map. I like it. I like it. Okay, so um, let's level up and see what we got here. I think we're going to start with Summoner. Summoner is going to be able to get the best stuff right now. Okay, uh, let's filter the bags also to only these things. I think I picked up a few white stuff. Um, whoops. Okay, so what do we got here? Fire damage plus 33 attack. We don't care about attack because attack is hero stats. Uh, we, we can also have two pets on the summoner. Defense rate. Let's. I wish this was default. Range and rate. Yeah, those are going to be good. Defense, rate, and fortify. No. Fortify and power. Sure. Okay. This is attack. I don't really want the... Let's just sell that. I don't like those ones. Defense, rate, and fortify. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, power and power. Uh, other than range and power. We did get a range one earlier, so... Oh. Let's sell this. Attack. I don't want that. I really want... Only other things. Abilities we don't care about. Fortify and fortify. It's better than what we have. But I'd prefer like range or something. Okay, this one is ability. I wonder if all of these are only ability things. Like all of the book ones. Hmm. Chance boost attack rate. Damage with staves. And I No, not needed, I think. 
We'll just take that one, I guess. I should have taken the one with fire damage. I didn't realize that these are only going to be hero thingies. All right, let's go to the next person. Let's go our EV. EV is really important with power to get those buff beams going. So we're going to try to focus power on her. Uh, rate is also good, I think. Actually, I'm not sure with the buff beams. I'm not sure if, like, rate affects rate and power affects power on them. They might. I'm not actually sure. Huh. Okay, let's go with rate on those. R wow, lots of rate here. Holy fuzzy cats. The range and power on those. But range is also really good. Rate and power. Power and fortify. Fortify is really nice when you have a lot of enemies attacking you and stuff. All right, let's see her power and fortify. Oh yeah, this is not good here, what she's got. Okay, gonna delete this one with the repair silly thing. Power and power, yeah. We'll take that on you, thank you. Fortify and power, yeah, that's better. And then we have the pouch thing. Attack. Vitality is nice. Um, I'll leave it, I think. Okay, that's all for her. All right. Anything for you? Power and defense rate. That sounds pretty great. This is range. This is rate and fortify. Uh, rate is really good. Though we do need some more range, I think. Power and power. Yeah... No ability. Attack rate with pole arms. Okay, that seems good. Because he has a pole arm, I believe, right? Or he can use a pole arm. What is this? This is more ability. I never use the ability anyway in a lot of cases, so. All right, apprentice, what do we got for you? Nothing good? Okay. All right. Fortify and power. Uh, but we want rate. We really want high rate on the squire. Oh, rate versus fortify. Dang, plus 18. Yeah, we have to take those. Okay, this is rate and more rate. Yeah, let's get rate and more rate. Perfect. Because uh, we want those, um, those ballistas shooting like crazy. Range and power. Yes. Because we're moving away from needing a lot of fortification for his walls and stuff. Uh, so we can afford to put stuff there. Now, how many points do we have? We have 16 points. Okay, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, apply. And then we'll get these guys. That's 29, I believe, right? On all of them. Uh, yeah, close enough. was hoping to be able to use the 10, but we can't just yet. I wish they had like fives as well. Let's see. Oops. That's kind of nice because on the hero deck, they all have the same levels. So you don't have to worry about having different numbers here. You can just go to the same one. But it does look like they are very permanent, these points. So be careful where you put your points. Be very careful. Okay, seems good. Seems very good. All right, we're ready for the next episode. Um, this has been really fun so far. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.